to answer the question, yes, those are what we are to expect for the GM ChargePoint partnership. Let's get into it. So it's been a bit, but this station here in Niagara Falls, New York, popped into my attention. You can see initially it was under the snow. That's when I first saw this during my weekly updates of the Alternative Fuels Data Center database, and I noticed the GM Energy. I'm like, hmm, GM Energy on a charge point station. And that kind of got me thinking, but the press release, as I recalled it, and it's one thing to read a press release and impose your own opinion on what the press release is saying versus what the press release is actually saying, and I'll get to that in a second, those two things being different. And uh, it just didn't look like the stations as I was expecting, so I thought, well, maybe this is a different project. And we started to get more of these stations starting to pop up, and let me just roll through the other ones. That company, let's go back to the original picture, Zero, and this is actually a Zero, it's zero six zero. So this uh, symbol here is a six and a zero. I don't know why they made the other zero look like a uh, looks like a, a cap gun plastic thing that you put in those old school uh, cap guns. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Um, but it's zero sixty is the name of the CPO. And Tech Media said, "Hey, there's more of those out there." Because I just did a update in the Alternative Fuels Data Center database, and I mentioned it. And he was kind enough to chime in saying, hey, man, there's more of those out there. You might want to go take a look. Uh, which one was? I can't remember. But this is their website. And when you pull it up, they have four locations listed. And you can go through each one of these. And let's just do that very quickly. All right. So there's the <clears throat> Niagara Falls one. There's one in Anaheim, California. It's at an In-N-Out Burger. And if you look at the pictures, there it is, GM Energy and a charge point charger and it's not the charge point express plus this is a cpe 250. so again i was picturing from reading the press release that we we're going to have new stations built at an undisclosed location some kind of c store it looked like they're going to be partnering with and building into those and neither charge point nor general motors does station build so i was kind of curious who they're going to use for their station build engineering was it going to be owl e-mobility was it going to be someone else you know how is this all going to function? And I didn't quite see how that was going to work out. And now it's, the, it's pretty clear. And let me continue to go through these. So this is the In-N-Out Burger in Anaheim, California. And basically, it's just a GM sticker on a charge point charger. And again, I press release, I was thinking 500 kilowatt uh, charging stations, uh, GM branding, you know, really top of the line stuff. But this is, you know, this is just CP2, CP250. But all right, so the next one. This is Lake Placid, New York. And there she is in all our glory covered in snow. And I like this one. It's March 18th and they still have snow up there. Uh, as a person who lives south of the Mason-Dixon line, that is a completely foreign concept to me. And beautiful vista pictures. But these are Charge Point Express Pluses. And we do have two power bricks. So this one is a little bit more beefy, but it's still not 500 kilowatts by any stretch of the imagination or even 400. Um, because you've got at least, what is this, at least three chargers, probably four chargers paired to two power bricks. So that's, uh, here's a better picture. Let's see, yeah. So four um, dispensers paired to two bricks. So that's uh, 200 max. Okay. Next one is here at a place at a Denny's. And it is three chargers. And they come back and do the wraps later. And there it is, 060, and the GM logo in the middle. Same Charge Point Express Plus. And these are the Express Plus dispensers as well. And that constitutes the entire inventory of this 060 CPO, all being these GM branded chargers. But there is another one. And let me go to, I don't know, here. And I'll back out a little bit because we got to go to Orlando, Florida. You'll hear the disappointment in my voice because this is definitely not how I imagined the press release. But the press release was accurate. I was just imposing my own view on the press release. And we'll get to that in just a second. Where is this? No. No. Oh, I need to go to coming soon. Uh, give me just a second. Toggle all. Show only coming soon. Where is she? 
It is, yeah. This is a different CPO, but you could see the same GM Energy sticker. This CPO is this company, Opti Optimus Energy Solutions. And if you look right here, they're a charge point value added reseller. So they provide services for uh, people who want to put charge point hardware on their property in order to um, get the builds complete. And if you look at this build, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight total stalls are going in here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think it's eight total stalls. And my guess of what the, what happened here is a municipality was going to put these in because if you look, it says um, environmental, what is the uh, people putting these in? Natural resource and sustainability, some organization. So normally in a situation like this, like a VW funded site, you would see two CPE 250s and um, that's it, because that's basically all they could afford. But in this case, they have all these extra ones. I'm assuming because for the same money, General Motors doing a boost or a, um, a add-on uh, to these projects because it's going through a preferred VAR of ChargePoint, they were able to double their stall count. That's kind of what this looks like. But same concept. So really what we're looking at here is more or less General Motors not doing any builds whatsoever. All they're doing is in select locations for uh, property owners who want to put in charge point hardware and don't have the full amount of money in order to do so. And they're looking for alternate sources of funding. General Motors provides that alternate source of funding. And then they just have to put a General Motors sticker on their chargers is, is basically the way this deal looks like it's panning out. And I actually went to ACT Expo and I talked to the people at the charge point booth and I kind of bounced that off them and they basically validated that was correct of how this project works. So let's go to the press release because it was actually staring me in the face the whole time. It's just Walter read what he wanted to read into this press release. It plans to install up to 500 AltaFast charge point, uh, charging ports at strategic locations across the uh, US. The new locations to be branded GM Energy are expected to be open to the public before the end of 2025. And when I heard that, I'm like, yes, 500 stalls by General Motors using ChargePoint hardware. After that, I stopped understanding what I was reading because it was staring at me, uh, staring right at me in the face. But um, 500 AltaFast ChargePoint um, charging ports. And so I was trying to figure out how big are these stations going to be? And they did this really nice rendering. I'm like, oh, they're partnering with the C store and they're going to be putting the, that's not what happened. No, mm -mm. no. So where is it? Last paragraph, Walter, you need to read the press release. It says through an incentive program designed to make it easier for third party charge point operators to own and operate EV charging infrastructure, which is exactly what we see. We see th third parties. This is not General Motors building these stations. This is some third party who is like, hey, charge point, you know, I want to build this station, but I just don't have all the money. Is there do any alternate sources of funding? And they yes, General Motors will pay blank to blank blank in order for you to help you build your charging station. And if you want to go with our preferred VAR, um, who is this? Optimus Energy Solutions. They'll put it in for you and they'll do the engineering and everything. But it's not General Motors putting in these charging stations and it's not ChargePoint because neither one of those two people know how to install charging stations. It's uh, third party owners and operators. So to answer the question in the title image, yes, this is what we should expect. And although they had this rendering, and conceivably, at some point, some convenience store may put in um, charging stalls. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six there. And, uh, you know, there's six here. So conceivably, some convenience store might be putting these in and getting money from General Motors. But it is not General Motors partnering with any mysterious char uh, convenience store operator in order to put 500 
stalls throughout the United States before the end of 2025. All it is is um, an incentive program which exists probably until the end of 2025 for up to um, helping support installation of 500 charging stalls is what it is. And although I sound disappointed, it's a noble thing. You know, General Motors is helping getting more charges, chargers in the ground. And I, you don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, we are getting really nice, uh, reliable chargers put into select locations. And third-party owner operators are getting access to funding that didn't exist previously in order to kind of bootstrap installation of more charge point hardware throughout the United States. So that is a good thing. It's just, I don't know, my expectations were set differently because I didn't read the whole press release. And it was all, it was right there the whole time. It's through an incentive program for third party charge point operator CPOs to own and operate their own EV hardware. And they put a General Motors sticker on it. And end of story, Bob's your uncle. So there we go. Mystery solved. We now are in the process of actually seeing these deployed throughout the United States through uh, preferred VARs of ChargePoint. And uh, that 060 operator seems to be exclusively being funded by these uh, General Motors incentives and um, other ones as well. Anyway, thanks for watching.